Hey everyone, Anthony here with another quick tip for your Apple devices. You can track your steps on your Apple Watch at any time by opening the Activity app and using the digital crown to scroll down past your rings to the steps screen. If this seems overly complicated, you can just also ask Siri, how many steps have I walked today? And Siri should respond by opening the same screen in your Activity app. If you don't own an Apple Watch, don't worry. You can get the same information from both the fitness or the health app on your iPhone. Here on the summary screen of the fitness app, you'll see the amount of steps and the distance you've walked. And here in the health app, your steps will be displayed right under your favorites. As with your Apple Watch, you can also ask Siri on your phone. So Siri, how many steps have I walked today? 5,876 steps. As an aside, if you are keeping track of your steps and maybe the calories you burn whilst you're walking, it's worth from time to time checking that your health details are accurate, especially your weight, as this will affect the accuracy of your data. You can adjust these measurements here in the fitness app under your profile. Personally, I find that Apple's built-in apps are not ideal for the purpose of tracking your steps. Instead, I recommend downloading a pedometer app from the App Store and for this video, I spent the last couple of days testing three of them. Pedometer++, Plus Plus, Steps app, and Activity Tracker. As you might have guessed, they all basically do the same thing, which is to measure and display the steps you walk each day. They are absolutely free, but do include premium subscriptions that unlock certain features. What I like about these apps, unlike Apple's own apps, is that they all include home and lock screen widgets that will display your steps at a glance without the need to open the app or ask Siri. Pedometer++ Plus Plus and Steps app also have an Apple Watch complication so you can see your steps on your watch face. All these features are available for free, but my favorite of the apps I tested was Steps app. I preferred the design of the interface and the fact that it included widgets and complications in the free tier. But for me, it ranked top because you can set daily step goals and you'll receive notifications when you complete those goals. It also has a very useful workout feature which will track where and how far you've walked, all available in the free tier. My least favorite of the apps was Pedometer++ Plus Plus because of the interface. I felt it just looks very basic compared to the other two apps. Activity Tracker missed out because it didn't include an Apple Watch complication and I think you can only set weekly goals rather than daily. If you want to give Steps app a try, download it from the App Store. The first time you open the app, it will run through the setup and you'll need to allow it access to your motion and fitness activity. It will then want to link to your health app so it can pull your measurements to accurately measure your data. You don't have to do this, but you'll likely get more accurate results. You can choose what you want to share, but I'll be turning on everything. Now you can set your daily goal and choose whether you wish to receive notifications about reaching your goal. If you don't wish to subscribe, just tap the X up here in the top left corner. At this point, if you have a watch, it will ask you permission to connect. If you think you'll use the workout feature, you can also choose to turn on location services to view where you've walked. Finally, you can import your existing data from your watch to update the app. And that's it, the app will now automatically start tracking your steps. Remember, if you want to add a widget to your home screen, long press anywhere on your iPhone screen until your icons start to jiggle. Tap on the plus and scroll down to Steps app. Choose your widget from the list and tap Add Widget. Now lock your phone to bring up the lock screen and again long press to customize it. Tap on Add Widget below the time and as before, choose a Steps app widget from the list. This will allow you to keep up to date with your steps with a simple glance of your phone. If you own an Apple Watch and wish to add the Steps app complication to your watch face, open the Apple Watch app on your phone. Tap on the watch face you wish to edit and choose the location for your complication. Scroll through the list until you find Steps app and choose from one of the options. And there we are, your Apple Watch and your phone will now start tracking your steps and you can view how many steps you've walked with a quick glance of either your watch or your phone. So that is how to track steps on your Apple Watch and iPhone. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. 
and you might be interested in learning how to get more from your workouts on your Apple Watch or how to find all your personal best times for your workouts. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.